What's up guys? In this video, I'll be talking about a oil, not a oil, a vent breather that I'm going to be running through my oil fill cap. So I can get some of that crankcase pressure out of my engine through a little air filter breather, vent breather. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want my motor to breathe as good as it can. I want to get all of the moisture and the constant condensation out of my engine as possible. Because um, condensation and moisture is not good for your oil. It'll just water it down and it won't lubricate the way it could. You know, I want my cylinder walls and my bearings to last not just last, but I don't want them scoring up. I want them bad boys smooth, as long as they can stay smooth. Cause I spend 60 bucks for my damn oil, you know? So I, I, I don't want to change my oil every, every month. I want to change it every four or 5,000 miles, you know? So by this setup, I'll be able to preserve my oil for four or 5,000 miles, you know? Um, but basically, One of the original PCV valves, uh, PCV valve that I have, I have the original PVC valve, PCV valve. I drilled a hole through it, took the little spring out so it could just breathe right out of there. And I drilled the hole as big as I can get it to where I can put a half inch hose, clamp that on the uh, PCV valve, and K motor. K motor makes a lot of cool parts for your K-swap that you will need. This 10AN line that I have running off of the K-series valve cover vent breather that originally runs uh, to a hose and it goes back to the uh, intake manifold. You don't want oil going back to your manifold. So in order to make a 10AN fitting work with the K-Series manifold, I mean, valve cover that I know of, you, you would look up K-Motor, K-Motor products. They make a lot of cool stuff. This is a, I guess you would type down K-Motor, 10 AM valve cover, breather. Type, type those words, that should pop up. I, I got this off of Amazon for maybe 20 bucks. But this makes it so you can put your 10 AN fitting on there, run a 10 AN hose to your oil catch can. And I already told you guys about the original PCV valve that I drew a hole through. K Motor makes a PCV valve um, delete to where you just screw in where the where, where the original PCV valve goes into, and it has a 10 AN thread on there so you can run a 10 AN fitting to any type of 10 AN hose, run it back to oil, oil catch can, but the Scum 2 manifold is so big right here that the K motor uh, PCV delete, uh, valve delete wasn't going to work. It barely worked with this hose that I have on here with the clamp because it's so massive but it works good enough with the hose. So you use you use your regular, if you have a center feed manifold, you use the regular stop PCV valve, drill a hole through it, take, take the spring out, run a hose from that to a K motor PCV valve delete to a 10 AN fitting hose with the hose to your oil catch can. So I already have two sources of pressure going to the oil catch can. The PCV valve, honestly guys, it's definitely breathing out pressure, but there's no type of moisture or condensation leaving out of there. Cause I could take the line out right now and show you guys it's dry. There's no type of moisture getting out. And you don't just want to get the, the air out. You want to get the moisture out of your engine. You want to get the moisture out. This bad boy, you know, it's like goddamn yellow in there. It's like, looks like milky. It looks like you need a head gasket if you check that, but it's just moisture and um, condensation leaving out of the valve cover. That's why most K guys 
the tapping to 10 a.m. fittings, whether from the front of the valve cover or the back. But I don't feel like doing all of that. So that's why I just have this, which is perfectly fine the way it is, but I want as much pressure and moisture out of the engine as possible. And if you start up your engine and you open up the damn oil cap, you'll, you, you will feel a whole bunch of pressure coming out. A whole bunch of pressure. So that's why I'm going to use, show you guys in a second. That's why I went with a K&N. My bad. That's why I went with a, that's why I went with the K&N crankcase vent filter. 9 16 clamp on crankcase vent filter. And every part that I show you guys, to, every tool and part that I show you guys will be lower in the description. You know, I'm not gonna BS you guys. I'm not just gonna talk about what I'm gonna do without literally leading you guys to everything that I'm buying that I already bought. This was 25 bucks. This is the most expensive tool part out of this whole process. This whole process is gonna be 70 bucks. I will explain later how everything mates with each other. But 70 bucks. You you I mean you can go on eBay and um and get a cap, a oil fill cap that already has a breather set up in it. The filter is a lot wider, so you're gonna have to cut the uh, support metal underneath the hood. You're gonna have to cut a bigger hole. And I want my hood to have as much support as it can because I'm not gonna cut it all up. And the hood is pretty heavy. So I don't I don't want it to flex. And where, where you guys have to cut is right, literally right in the middle of the hood. So that's why I went with the smallest filter that I can go with. This is a inch and a half filter. And to cut the hole in your support metal underneath the hood, you're gonna need a hole dozer. I got this from Home Depot. This is this is a little under an inch and a half, right? So you get an inch and a half hole dozer. You can get this from Home Depot. I'll try to find one, even if it's not this brand, I will find one that you can get from Amazon and I'll put it down in the description. And make sure you guys adjust this, this damn drill bit as low as you can get it because if you leave it the way it comes on this one, you're gonna drill a hole through your hood, out of the top of your hood. And you don't wanna do that. Step one of this process, you get some grease, not, not oil. Get grease, dab it on top of your filter Dab as much as you can. You don't really need a lot. Put it in the center of your oil fill cap. Don't close your hood because it's gonna smash your filter. But just put a little pressure on it, you know? Lift it back up and this is gonna be stuck onto where you're gonna have to drill your hole. That's how I figured out where I'm gonna drill my hole. So after you open the hood, this, this bad boy is gonna be stuck on there. You're gonna to have to actually pull it off if you guys use good grease. Get a marker. Get a marker. Drill out the hole. Draw around the filter. Take it off. And that's where you're gonna use your hole dozer to cut the hole. Now, on the surface of where the engine is set up, I wish it would be perfectly on the flush surface of the uh, support metal, but it's slightly off. So you will be able to draw maybe 80%, maybe 75% of the circle. But once you use the hole dozer, you know, then it's gonna cut a perfect circle. So make sure you guys don't cut through your hood. Adjust the drill bit down as much as you can. Now, after that's done, let me explain why I'm not going with this cap. 
This is a Black Works cap, aftermarket cap, whatever. It doesn't make any more horsepower. I don't really care about the flashy aluminum, shiny. I don't care about that stuff. You want to get the shortest cap, oil cap that you can get. This is important because I mean, you guys can go on eBay and buy the hundred dollar oil fill cap breather that's already done, but it's more money. And the filter is a lot wider. It's like twice as wide. So you're gonna have to drill an even bigger hole. You know, you want the most support. Well, I want the most support in, in my hood. I don't really care what you guys do, but if you guys want your shit right and not trying to just cut metal because you're trying to make your car faster, then you will listen to what I have to say. You can do what you want though, honestly. Um, The difference. This cap is about a quarter inch taller than this one. And this is another part that I bought. This was 10 bucks. The whole dozer was 15 bucks. The KN breather, vent breather was 25 bucks. So that's 25, 15, 40, 50. Sixty, and a nut for this is seventy. But let me explain back to where was I? This. Not only is this cap too tall. I mean, you could probably make it work, but this this filter will probably touch the bottom of your hood, the top of your hood. I don't want this to touch the hood at all. I'm gonna close the hood, and it fits perfectly around it. You know? The surface of the top of this cap the surface of the bottom in this hole is about an inch and a half. I mean, a half of an inch thick. It's really, really thick. And let me introduce this. This is a brass barb. This is a brass NPT pipe fitting. <clears throat> I'll put all of this, all of this down in the description so you can get this one, this exact one. You can use plastic, but I like the way the brass looks and it's stronger. You know, I don't want anything breaking off in my motor, <clears throat> in my head. Um, you guys can get any size filter. This is important. You don't have to get this one. You can use, I mean, you guys can get a bigger one, but if you guys get a bigger one, I don't know how wide you can cut this. I mean, this is about an inch. You know, so just get it half of an inch. This is a half of an inch inner diameter hole, half inch. This is a half inch. So you get a half inch barb, holes barb. NPT stands for National Pipe Thread. It's perfect, perfect. It fits perfect. And when you breathe, when you, I'm not gonna blow on this shit in the camera, on the camera, but when you blow, trust me, you could blow really, really hard. Pause. All of that air gets out of there. These filters are amazing. They're amazing. k &N. You can get a cheaper filter for 10, 15 bucks, but just get this one. Get the best. It's only 25 bucks. So get a NPT pipe fitting half inch. Make sure that the bar is a half inch. I don't know why they label this a, a quarter inch, a one fourth N NPT pipe fitting. I don't know where to get the quarter inch because a quarter inch is half of a half inch. And if this is a half inch, how would this be? Whatever. Make sure it's the same size. You, uh, um, you're gonna need the thread, and you're gonna need, need the hose barb. So get the half inch hose barb with the half inch thread. You put the clamp on there and you're gonna need an NPT nut. I don't have that nut here. And um, I'm actually waiting on that. That will be here in a day or two. So I'm waiting on that. And this is gonna mate like this. You're gonna drill a half, half of an inch hole in your oil fill cap. Put that bad boy through there and use the NPT. It's a, uh, I don't know why, I don't know where to get the measurements from. I'm gonna have to do my research, but it's a quarter inch NPT nut, fastener nut. Um, it's 
it's a one fourth NPT nut. I don't know why they, I, I, I don't know. I just know that it's the one that I bought and it's gonna work with this. And after you drill that hole, put it through there, use lock tight, put the nut on there, and you're done as long as you drill this hole out. After you drill that hole and the metal support underneath your hood, and you're done. Your motor's gonna breathe, it's gonna breathe out. Because if you open that oil, if you unloosen this cap, um, and then you start your motor, or you start it, and then you start to loosen up the cap, there's a whole lot of pressure coming out, a whole lot of pressure. And you wanna get that pressure out. So, if you guys are going on, if you guys already have a case swap in your Civic or your Integra, you guys already should have the, uh, the, um, God dang, I just had it in my head earlier. They're, they're not called hood, they're not called hood extenders, they're called, uh, what are they called? God damn it. Hood spacers! They're called hood spacers. I could put washers underneath my hood spacers or just get even bigger ones if they even make them so I don't have to cut the hood but I don't want my car looking like a muscle car. So I'm gonna cut that hole, put that nut on the uh, fitting underneath the cap, tighten that down. You know, it's not gonna look like that. This is gonna be inside of it. And that bad boy's gonna breathe. It's gonna that's it. Grease. Need your grease. You need your vent filter. Mark up the the, uh, the circle so you know where to cut. Where you cut. Get your OEM uh, regular oil fill cap, ten bucks at AutoZone. 